well hello hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to use GeoMajor and how it can transform the way you make assets in 3D so let's get started the first thing you will need to do is to bring up the GeoMajor assets if you've installed it to your asset library just drag and drop and you're good to go now immediately you will notice it's telling you no object selected okay so go to the modifier section now in the modifier section you will notice there are a lot of options here so the first thing we're gonna do is um, first of all this bike is made up of several components and parts okay because it's not yet finished so it has several components so I rearranged these components in a collection okay because it's in a collection I have to select collection okay so I'm gonna choose collection all right sorry not collection a um, AI bike that's the collection is in now you will notice it doesn't work because we haven't set um, use collection yet so toggle it on and there we go it's working now if yours doesn't work it's simply because your major is in the same collection to the to the um, collection you selected okay make sure geomajor is not in the same collection make sure it's away from the collection that you chose in this section okay so yeah you get the idea right don't put geomajor in the collection you selected thank you so let's move on so this is um, what geomajor looks like okay now we could make changes to our model we can move stuff around and the measurements adapts on the fly okay which is really really useful the measurements adapts on the fly okay now what's even more is that we can add custom rulers in geo measure okay we can add custom ruler okay but before that let's play with these settings okay the first settings is a uh, hide or unhide the warning okay that's when it's that's useful when you just want to use rulers okay we should be diving in to further later but for now just know that hide warning hides this property this warning no object selected you see here okay the next option is um, objects so you can select an object let's select for example uh, I don't know let's add a new object let's add a mesh cube now if we choose a cube what's, what's the name first cube.002 so cube.002 if we select this right here and choose use object now we can see that it's taking the object of this cube okay good anyways we don't want to measure the cube so let's move on so the next property is um, units okay so with units we can change from um, millimeters to centimeters we have meters we have inches and we have feet okay we, geomajor supports five different types of units the next option is um, adaptive units with adaptive units you can you know see your measurements in more de in more you know you can think of them um, this as a let's say someone gets, says he's five feet and six inches okay this adaptive unit will help you measure that all right that is the best way I can explain it for now so adaptive unit on and you will notice it's now writing four feet eight inches once I turn it off okay now it's writing me and um, 56 inches five feet let me increase the decimal okay 4.66 feet okay now let's say we want to show it as um, four feet and some inches we just enable adaptive units and there we go this is four feet 7.9 inches okay that's it for um adaptive units the next is show the name self-explanatory shows the name and um, decimals gives you more precision over your measurements self-explanatory too uh, markings gives you more finely detailed markings around the objects 
okay next is um, custom color which looks like this okay this is useful if you want to change the material in the shader okay it doesn't work in object mode or i mean it doesn't work in um in solid sh shading okay you have to be in rendered mode okay you have to be in rendered mode for you to see this so we are currently in rendered mode and now we can set the color it's purple orange and um, cyan good you could set the custom color really 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 useful um the next thing we can do is um the ability to um, change the thickness and scale of everything and also the text size great and now we have options to manipulate the axis okay we can turn on on or off the x-axis ruler we could do the same for the y and the z okay and they have their own customizable settings right here okay i won't go over this it's pretty self-explanatory what they do start and end offsets the length the scale of each of the markers and so on so that's it so now let's move to the next stage this is the ruler i was talking about okay so to add a ruler we just have to select this geometry object okay now enter edit mode okay once you're in edit mode add a new bezier curve like let's add a bezier curve great we're gonna rotate this at 90 degrees and position it where we want good let's start by changing this curve to um, poly it doesn't make any difference but I just prefer using poly because bezier gives us this handle that is unnecessary so I will prefer to use a poly instead so now we have selected poly as you know the curve is now a poly now we can take measurements using this ruler right so we could take measurements with this ruler as you can see let's say we want to measure this this wheel okay we want to know the radius of this wheel okay this is where geomajor comes in handy okay just position this exactly the way the place it should be position it right here and position it right here then now go over to the um, this um, this tab right here okay object data properties tab now go to the active spline and select cyclic U. this will make it a cyclic okay now that it's a cyclic you can see the ruler immediately change to a a circle shape so it's a circle shape let's reduce it in um, the scale a little okay that's better so now it's a circular shape making it much more convenient for uh, measuring the wheels the wheel okay now this is the diameter of the wheel but we could um, show it as a radius instead by enabling this okay just toggle it on and it will work and what's more is that we could edit this and add another ruler like so and we can just keep adding more and more rulers to better you know to take better measurements just keep adding more and more of those rulers is it's really is that easy okay it's really that easy these are all curves okay and it uses a geometry node system to make it a ruler it's all just curve okay that's all you need to know these are curves the object itself is a curve as you can see geomajor this is a a curve icon here so geomajor is a curve with a modifier applied to it and that modifier is geometry nodes which you will see right here it's really really complex okay and it has node groups in itself making it really really sophisticated very very deep geometry is really sophisticated but that's all you need to know 
so it's useful from taking measurements and better understanding your model okay so that you can make accurate you know models with the right skill not oversized models not small models your major empowers you to create models that just works okay just works okay so from here i could continue modeling my my power bike which is really really cool i could continue modeling my power bike using a reference photo i could just continue where i left off and it just works that's the power of geo measure okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it go ahead and subscribe share it and uh, i will keep improving the quality of my videos thank you for watching and i'll see you soon